Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers, thanks for stopping in and joining us here for some good old outboard fun. And if you watched my last video, um, although it was an easy fix um, as far as an outboard goes, there was still labor involved in it, dropping that lower unit and finding what the problem was with the shift link and everything. And so the owner come and picked it up and I told him, you watch my last video. You go, if you don't want to watch the video, fast forward to the end and listen to what I say about this motor. It's the only shot it's got. So hopefully he will do that um, as salty as that one was. But uh, it's just been busy as a bee around here. Um, speaking of the bees, it's April. Now, down in the States and other places, spring has sprung a while back for you guys. But for us up here, April's still pretty early up here in Alaska. But, I noticed my berry bushes had little green bloom things on them and everything. And I was walking over there and boom! I saw a bee. And it's only April up here. And it was a big old bee. Come zoom! An angry bee. But I saw a bee. And, uh, well, I went and got my camera. I said, I'm going to film that bee because people probably won't believe me that I saw a big old ornery bee up here in April this early. So, here you go. What the heck? Hey there, Mr. Bumblebee. How you doing? You're the first one I've seen. You're a little early this year, aren't you? Is this your berry patch? You know, what are you, a doofus or something? Whoa. In a bad mood, ain't you? Hey, look. You know, every year, me and the boys have to come all the way up here to pollinate this stuff, you know? And look at it. You know, all this dead bramble in here, you know? I mean, what is all that? You know, what are you, idiot? You know? How about taking a little pride? You know, we have to come all the way up here from down there. And look what you got going here. Dead stuff everywhere. You know, I want you to take a little ownership in your berry patch. It makes our job a little easier, you know, if we come up in here, you know, to pollinate. It's pretty hard work. We come over here and look. The place is in shambles. The berries, it's in shambles. You know, I mean, what's with you, you, you people, you know? I mean, come on, look around. You know, we come up here, we have to pollinate. After a long trip, all we want to do is get a cold brewski and kick back. But no, you, you guys, look at look at how you leave the berry patches. Just makes our job that much harder. And, look at that, man. Everywhere, dead stuff, you know, everywhere. Look at that crap, everywhere. Jesus.
by Joe, I think I got it. There's the bed. Let's look. Sorry about the wind. It's just been brutally windy. Hopefully you can see. Oh, looky there. That's just a sp spare tire cup. The problem is, now this frame, I've welded as you can see. And the frame, I'm gonna do more, but the problem was, the problem was, is, not the shock, well, the shock shot too, but the shock mount. On a Ranger, one goes forward and one comes aft. Like, yeah, like that. And right in here was the, the mount that holds the shock on the inside and that rusted away. So I'm gonna go through a lot of it. Oh, that's bent down. It's still, oh, it's broke loose too. So I'm going to go through and beef the whole thing up, build, weld a whole new shock mount. And, uh, but you can see to take the bed off of this truck, because it's so rotten, I welded four studs. There's two there and two up there. Um, I did that a long time ago. So this bed comes off with a total of eight screws and four three-quarter inch nuts and washers. And the whole bed will lift off. The screws are for the uh, tail lights, and then there's three for the gas fill. So I zip them out with my zippy gun and then undo the four three-quarter inch nuts and washers and the bed lifts off. what I'm doing on this four-wheeler. Well, I should be wearing my Santa Claus hat. The gentleman brought it by here, said it don't run. Been sitting. It's locked up. Do you want it? I gave it a once-over. I said I want it. The locked up part was the rear drum brake. I took care of that. The wooden start part was the carb garbage raider. I took care of that. Now, I don't really need or want a four-wheeler until about two months ago. And you say why? I tell you, I tell you. See, our governor here in this state, in the Great Land, just passed a law 
we can now license these and ride them on the road. Look it up. I'm not making it up. I can go up there. All I need is headlights. I don't know if you can see that. I got headlights. Tail lights, I got tail lights. You use hand signals. Or you can put blinkers. Um, you're supposed to put street tires on them, but I've noticed that the people that have been getting them licensed ain't been doing that. And I was told they make a half and half. You can use it on the, or on the, like an enduro thing. I don't know. But, I said, you know, if I can ride this on the road, it's fixing to get summer. Why not? And one more thing. Them gas prices. What do you think that thing gets about 60 miles to the gallon? Them gas prices. Let me get uh, some tools, the half-inch Milwaukee, and some other stuff. I'll be back. All right, let's see what comes out of that, them cylinders there. See all the rusty water? See all that? Full of rusty water. Good oh boy. No. That's not something you see every day. <laughs> Eat air! Can I pet you? I don't guess he'll let you pet him. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> okay. He goes right to the pot. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, if I look a little bit depressed and tired, I guess that's because I'm uh, a little depressed and tired. As I mentioned in my last video, everything around here just broke. And uh, so I decided I'll come over here and get some words of wisdom from Fret. And he told me, uh, he said, cheer up. Summer's coming. I suppose that's a good attitude kind of unusual coming from him but I told him I said well I'm tired and a little depressed because my danger ranger falling apart my garage door fell apart and he told me he said well that's because you ain't nothing but an old cheapo maybe he's right so anyway I uh, finally got the garage door, the shop door, patched up where I can open it and close it. And uh, then I started on my old Danger Ranger over here. And uh, the frame on it's just rotten, so I'm patching that up as best I can. I'll show you. Um, so you can see that frame is rotten. And so I added some steel on the side there on the shop mount up there across the back back here um, yeah the old danger ranger and then I built a bridge going all the way from the back shock or leaf spring mount all the way across and then I built this whole front leaf spring joint there where I could get the leaf spring back on and uh, she's rotten and uh, ended up being a little more work than I thought it would be but I'm just about there I got some brand new shocks to put on it, but first I got to make a shock mount for this side because it's rotted off. When the leaf spring went, all the weight was riding on the rotten shock mount and it went. So, just a patch job on the old Danger Ranger. Kodiak up here, it just eats them alive. Well, now, as far as that 30 Johnson goes, I, uh, I called the fella and I said, look, this thing's been submerged, and I believe it's been submerged in the ocean. Um, the cylinders were full of water and this and that, and I said, I'll be happy to try and get it going for you for this dollar amount, but I won't stand behind the repair because I believe it's been in the ocean. And then it has been left out. So... Who knows what the needle bearings inside and everything look like. They're probably all black and stuff. I said, but uh, I gave him a quote on what I would do to, to try and give it up and get it back going. And he said, nope. He said he didn't want to pay that. And I said, well, come pay your bill and pick it up then. And that's what he did. So it's gone. I wish him the best of luck with that little 30 Johnson. But uh, so... I got some more that came in I'm going to get to, but I got to finish patching up this old truck of mine and get it back where I can drive it around. So, this video is uh, not much in the way of outboards, but there's a little bit in there, but uh, I hope to get some better outboard videos coming up for sure as soon as I get on top of all these little disasters that have been happening so that's going to be a wrap on this one and thanks for watching and as always that is one more hack from Kodiak
More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.